Welcome to another video on the CB500X. Today I'm going to be taking this piece of fairing off and getting the left hand indicator off. I've already taken the front cover and the bulb out, it's a wee bit corroded in there, but that's just a screw, standard Phillips head screw. Um, it was, this was also a screw. Phillips head to take this off, this part broken, so I'll um, try and repair that. The wires, I'm going to try and try to see if I can get that to unplug from that, but it seems as if it's been too far in. So I'll need to take all this fairing off to try and get this piece off, which will then disconnect that piece and hopefully get into it that way. It's a number five hex to take these off. That's the other one on the other side, and I've taken those off. I don't know if I need to take them off. I'll let you let you know if I don't on an update. And inside there is down oh, here and just in there, there's little poppers, and they've got the little sort of mid the middle of the punch hole needs to get pushed in, and then that should release it. And then when you put it back in and push it back in, it should connect it back up and the rest of it seems to be just location clips but I'll take it off and I'll show you that better once it's off you can see the damage on the inside of that fairing yeah okay, I'll crack on and then I'll show you the poppers once I've got them off a wee update this piece of fairing is actually tucked under this piece of fairing Sorry, which is broke, so I'm going to take that off. That's held, again, 5mm hexes just under here. There's one here, and I think that's it. And then the this, then this should just slide and pop off. There's little poppers that hold it in place. Once that's off, that should let me get that off a bit more. And uh, hopefully let the dog see the rabbit. Side fairing is off and this was the bolt which was in here and that's a small bolt keep them separate this one's longer like it's in the bottom one which is in here and the rest of it is just poppers there's a wee bit of god it's a bloody velcro it's just plastic gripper and the rest are just poppers that hold it in place and that's them there and it, it just came away it's no problem this will be getting replaced I've got a new one of those but that now gives us a better look yep there's a bolt in there that needs to come off and then this piece of fairing should come off but bad news this piece of fairing is bolted on through this piece of fairing so we need to get in through this side and I'm going to try and slow down what I'm talking because I'm sure lots of you will be thinking what the hell is he saying I don't understand his accent which is fine that's quite a bit wider and that's the two screws there they are Phillips head and we need to take them out and hopefully hopefully that should be us and just like that, the fairing's off and I'll show you where all the bolts came off and the screws so this is how the fairing looks you've already taken that one off because that is that one there, same as that one there's one in here and that locates somewhere up there up here okay you get those and when I flip it over this is where it gets interesting they had to take the black bit off and that's got one two three oh sorry one two three screws there one screw there and a popper which is there so there's four screws which is the one that's those, they're just Phillips head they're a bit of a bugger to get to, I'll show you how to get into them 
and this top one is one of these we unscrew get get focus 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 one sweet plastic sits plush unscrew and it's blades opened and where they are is screw and screw screw and screw you're getting these from this side i'll show you where they are and this one's a splayed one so it goes through the plastic this other plastic piece of cowling and goes through the white piece there and you tighten up the screw it splays it open pulls all this together now there's a lot of moving these back forward to get a screwdriver in because i ended up using a little stubby to get in yep. oh it doesn't help you getting old this is where you want your screw holes see them other ones down there and that's your push one screw 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 to get them off and when you take the cowling off, I'll show you. Fairing rather than cowling. See they're angled. And let me just make sure I don't lose these when I show you. Right, that's that. So when you've got it all loosened, you're pushing forward and then taking it away because these little things lock in oh, somewhere under there, up here, they lock into these parts. So that sits like so and you're pushing it up and then away. To get those parts there clear if you pull it away you'll end up breaking those and that's all the damage to this there is two other screws to take this pack completely off scratch that three screws on two three yep and then i'll give this a clean i'm going to try to push this back through and then I don't know maybe put a sheet of fiberglass or something under this see if it holds it or if I can get a salvage part I'll get a salvage part I'll probably still do that just until I get a salvage part because God knows how long I'll wait oakley oakley that's how we get the side fairing off and I've still nowhere near this so I'll get back to you when I get that off and to the last part, once you've taken these three bolts out from there, they are again just hexy bolts. There is a push pin again, which you just push in and that releases it. And that is located in there. And that holds all this together. There's a big rubber grommet in here which keeps the waterproof. It's a bugger to get out because it's broken, it's just moving. So I just put a piece of uh, it's actually this, put that in and just pushed it from the inside and just popped it out. And then you can take that out, and the wire loops around and goes into that waterproof housing and unclips I will show you that how that looks unclipped once I get it out and it's out so there's this piece of metal which the screw goes into to hold it and it sits on the inside and that comes out as he tries to do it with one hand will he fail miserably you have to take that off the little orange clip and it should come off like so if not then push it through 
and turn it a quarter turn. Oh, I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. Quarter turn so that it actually fits through that hole. Yay! Bye bye. Making a bit for freedom. Come back, Chuck. And that is just a support, metal support. See, it sits on the inside and gives it rigidity. Okay, so that can come off. Go somewhere, I'm not going to wreck it. This is a little clip that you try to take off, as you can see by my clumsy attempts. Uh, there is, when that fits in, there is a little a shoehorn type that comes over. So when you push in, it slides over that little ramp and clicks into place. And with your smallest of screwdrivers, you try to push it under the shoehorn and then just move it forward and it should pop out. And me being Scottish and a cheapskate, I'm going to try and rewire this. And use it again. Feeling that, I shall spend a couple of pounds. Oh, good God, no. And uh, cry as I buy a new one. This gold wire or yellow wire is somewhere in there and it connects here at the end. And this wee bit goes through to the contact and this lives inside there. And a little spring pushes on the bulb. Oops. Pushes on the bulb and holds it in place. So I'm going to strip all that back. Re-solder a new piece of wire. And solder it back on somewhere along here. That will save me using all this. Reuse, repurpose and all that. So what I'm going to do is. I am going to solder this connection to this piece of wire, extend it and join this piece of wire to this connection. And But before I connect that up, I'm going to feed it through the plastic connector, through the spring, and then back through the bottom, and then finally connect those two up. I'm not going to show you me soldering because I am absolutely pants at it. And I've had to move over to the worktop because if I burn the table, my wife will kick my head in. That's as repaired. Put some heat shrink around it all. And this is all wired in. Springs back in place. Push back in, we put the bulb in. Yep. Let's go and test it. With the bulb temporarily put in place, time for a wee test. Yes, we have left off. <laughs>